30 seconds, someone loses their leg because of diabetes complications. Now, diabetics and other patients with chronic wounds are finding relief at a Round Rock hospital. They are undergoing a treatment that simulates being 33 feet below sea level. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis tells us more about it. Comfortable? Merle O'Neill is getting prepped to enter a hyperbaric chamber where oxygen acts as a drug. Ready to go? A few decades ago, he learned he had diabetes. I thought I was doing pretty good. Made it 35 years before, before something like this happened. An infection on his foot. Too graphic to show here. Complications from diabetes can mean nerve damage and poor blood flow, making a person's feet more vulnerable to foot sores. If not treated properly, that can lead to amputation of the toes, the feet, even the legs. Other body parts are also at risk, like the hands and the arms. He said, if you were my dad, said I'd recommend taking off the two toes uh, before, before we lose half a foot or a foot. After the surgery, doctors used hyperbaric oxygen therapy to help heal the wounds. Atmospheric pressure is increased and controlled, and patients breathe in 100% oxygen, enhancing the body's natural healing process. It helps get oxygen to the level of the tissue, but it also helps stimulate something called angiogenesis, which is growing new blood vessels. And that is invaluable. O'Neill underwent 40 treatments, five days a week for several weeks. If you planted tomatoes or corn, you wouldn't expect it to pop up in five days. The same is true of new blood vessels. After the first time, it was great. The treatments worked. O'Neill's thankful for his foot, his leg, and another chance to keep his body healthy. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. The Round Rock Advanced Center for Wound Care tells us insurance will only cover the treatment under certain criteria and that requirements have become more strict. They hope through continued data and research, more patients will be eligible for this treatment in the future. Now, there are only 13 FDA-approved uses for this, including carbon monoxide poisoning, anemia, flesh-eating bacteria, and radiation tissue damage for those who are undergoing cancer treatments. The FDA also warns not to believe everything you read online. It says hyperbaric oxygen therapy has not been clinically proven to cure or effectively treat cancer, Alzheimer's, autism, or a number of other diseases.